Welcome to Numbers Words. We are back again with another video related to ICAT's mathematics contest in which we will discuss the solved past papers of 2019 for grade 3 and 4. So, question number 1. Mr. Ahmed is painting his house. The graph below shows how many hours he spent painting during 5 days. How many more hours did Mr. Ahmed spend painting his house on Friday than on Wednesday? So here it's a question of comparison in which we have to compare the number of hours uh, painted on Friday than on Wednesday. So let's see. On Friday he spent 6 hours to paint his house and on Wednesday he used only 1 hour. So we are going to subtract 1 out of 6. The answer is 5. So B is our correct option over here. Question number 2. The diagram below shows the pattern Ali is using to put tiles on his floor. Which row of tile is the missing row from Ali's floor? So you can clearly see there are some triangles upwards and downwards upwards. So obviously part C is our correct option to complete the pattern. Question number 3. Mr. Hana's class and Mr. Ali's class are competing in a school uh, readathon. According to the table, which statement is true? So here you can see they have given the number of books read by the both classes in week 1, 2 and 3. So option A is in 3 weeks Mr. Ali's class read more books than Ms. Rehana's class. So we have to find the total of the both classes. So if we see in the 3 weeks the total of Ali's class is 30 and Rehana's class is 32. According to the statement, Mr. Ali's class have read more books than Rehana, which is not true because total of Ali is 30 and Rehana is 32. This is a wrong statement, so not correct. Option B is in the first two weeks, Mr. Ali's class read more books than Rehana. For that purpose, we will add the number of books for the first two weeks. So 10 plus 8 is 18. So or Ali's total is 18 and Rehana's total is 19. So that is also wrong because 18 is not greater than 19. It's a wrong statement. C part is Mr. Hana's class read fewer books during week 1 than Mr. Ali's class uh, read during week 1. So you'll see the number of books read by the both classes in week 1. According to the statement, Ms. Rehana's class has read fewer books than Ali's class, which is wrong because 10 is not less than 8. So again, not correct. So option D. Ms. Rehana's class read the same number of books during week 1 as Mr. Ali's class read during week 2. So you can clearly see the number of books read by Ms. Rehana's class in week 1 and the number of the books read by Mr. Ali's class in week 2 are same. So 10 is equal to 10. So that's why D is our correct option. Question number 4. Which statement describes the pattern of the sh shapes shown below? So there is a pattern in the sides of the shapes like there is a triangle which has three sides if we add two into it we will get five sides it means a pentagon five minus one is equal to four sides of a square four plus two is equal to six sides of a hexagon then similarly six minus one is equal to five which is a pentagon and then heptagon so here you can uh, see all the options. B is our correct option because our pattern is add 2 into the first shape and then subtract 1 from the next. So we have applied the similar rule to find out the next shape. Question number 5. In the year 2000, there were 4,690,107 children under the age of 18 living in New York State. What is the value of the 6 in the number 4,690,107? So let's just reinforce the place value first. So 7 is at 1's place. Here 0 is at 10's. 1 is at 100's. Then this 0 is at 1000's. 9 is at 10,000's. 6 is at 100,000. And 4 is at millions place. So according to the question, they have asked us about the 6, the place value of 6. So here 6 is at 100,000 place. So it is 600,000. Question number 6. What fraction of the figure below is shaded? So you may clearly see two parts are colored out of 6. So C is our correct option here. Question, Question number 7. Mrs. Brown rewards her student by putting a star next to their name on the notice board. For every 5 stars a student earns, a student gets a prize. Brenda got three prizes last month. What is the least number of stars Brenda must have earned to get the three prizes? So here you know that uh, the information is given that one prize is for five stars. And Brenda got three prizes. So three fives are 15. So she must have earned 15 stars at least. 
Question number eight. Ali and Ahmed went on a bicycle trip. It took them three days to ride the 87 miles from a city to lake. They traveled the same number of miles each day. So how many miles did they travel each day? So the total distance is 87 miles and we have to divide this distance into three equal parts. So we are going to divide it on three. So the answer is 29. Question number nine, Sheila is mowing her lawn. It has taken her 10 minutes to mow the area of her lawn shown on the diagram below. About how many minutes will it take Sheila to mow the rest of her lawn? So you can see the mowed part is uh, highlighted in gray color and rest of the part of the lawn is also a kind of a square that is four times greater than the gray area. So four such parts can fix into it. So we can multiply 4 by 10 to find out the time that she requires to mow the rest of the lawn. So it's 4 tens are 40. Question number 10. Two trains leave from Camden and arrive to Rockford as shown in the timetable below. How many more minutes does it take the local train than the express train to go from Camden to Rockford? So again, it's a question of comparison. So let's count the uh, time first. So express train took... 30 minutes to uh, arrive at Rockford from Camden and the local train took 50 minutes so we will find the difference between the timings so it means 50 minus 30 is equal to 20 so the local train took 20 minutes extra to arrive at Rockford from Camden. Question number 11 approximately how many mastics long is the pencil? So we can clearly see three such mastics can make this much long pencil. So answer is three. Question number 12. A store was having a sale on cans of tennis balls for every two cans bought. The store gives the customer one more can for free. There are three tennis balls in each can. When Atif came home from the store, he had 18 tennis balls in his shopping bag. How many of these tennis balls did he get for free? So if he bought two cans, he got third can free. Similarly, if he buys two more, he will get the sixth one free. So we can see that uh, the free balls are uh, in the smaller cans. So three plus three is six. So he bought basically 12 balls and got six balls free out of 18. Question number 13. Sukra's mother bought six bags of fruit at the grocery store. What fractional part of the bag is red? So two out of six. It's quite visible. Question number 14. Which of these 475 milliliters bottle has about 200 milliliters of water in it? So we can clearly see only B is our quite perfect option over here. Otherwise, rest of the bottles are showing some discrepancy. Question number 15. Each of the three blocks below has a star on three of its six sides. What is the total number of stars that cannot be seen on the blocks above? So he told you very clearly that uh, there are three blocks, three stars on each block. So one star is hidden on the first one, two stars are hidden on the second one and three st two stars again hidden on the third one. So total is five. So C is our correct option. Question number 16. What is the area in square units of the shaded shape on the grid below? To calculate the area, we will not apply formula over here. We will simply count the number of squares because it's a grid and it's a compound shape. So count the number of squares in it. So if I count the number of squares in the first row, there are seven. And the same number is repeated in the second and third row. So we will simply add 7. 7 plus 7, 14. 14 plus 7 is 21. And there are two extra squares. So 21 plus 2 is 23. So B is our correct option. Question number 17. The box has a weight of 40 kilograms. What could be the weight of one can? So here we have five cans. One box of 40 kg. And then there is another hint that is given in the form of the picture that the weight of the box is greater than the cans. So it means we have to consider the weight of the carton as well. So the box we are talking about, it's including the weight of the carton and the weight of the cans. Then the total is 40 kilograms. So here, if we say that there are 5 cans and each of them is of 8 kg, the total will be 40 kg. So it, we are not adding the weight of the carton. So if we add it, the answer will be greater than 40 kg. So no, we can't consider this answer. 
let's suppose we have five bottles and each of them is of 7 kg in that case the total will be 35 kg and we may say that uh, 35 is the weight of the bottles and 5 kg is the weight of the carton but here we do not have any option such as 7 kg so we can't consider this option let's say that we have five bottles and each of them is of 6 kg the total will be 30 kg and to complete the total of 40 kilograms we may say that 10 kg is the weight of the carton the box so the total will be 40 kg so each bottle is of 6 kilograms question number 18 the table below shows the number of tickets for the school play that were sold each day so on which day does the number of tickets sold round to 300 when rounded to the nearest 100 so you, go, so you can see the number is 238 which is which lies between 200 and 300 but it is less than 250 so it will be rounded as 200 361 lies between 300 and 400, 400 but it's greater than 350 so it will be rounded towards 400 so similarly the saturday's number is 249 which will be rounded as 200 and Sunday's number is 328, which is closer to 300. So, Sunday is our correct answer. Question number 19. Taylor is measuring leaves for an art project. What is the length of this leaf? So, we will start from here. 4 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 and half. So we will simply count the number of jumps uh, from 4 till 15. There are 11 jumps and then there is, there is half. So B is our correct option. Question number 20. Students shaded the shapes below to represent fractions. Brittany, Keisha, Ivan and Walter. Which two students shapes represent equivalent fractions? So you can see Brittany has 4 by 6. Keisha has 2 by 4. And Ivan has 3 by 4. And Walter has 2 by 3. So uh, let's see. The brittleness part is 4 by 6 and Walter has 2 by 3. If we simplify 4 by 6 on 2, we will get 2 by 3. So it means the Brittany and Walter has equivalent fraction. Question number 21. Amara wants to buy a notebook for rupees 2.15, a pack of glue sticks for rupees 5.08 and a pack of pens. For rupees 3.08, what is the total cost of the three items Amara wants to buy? For that purpose, we will simply add them up, make a sum, and when you will add, the answer will be 10.31. So, B will be our correct option here. Question number 22, Umar created the number pattern below by adding the same amount each time to get the next number. What will be the eighth number in the pattern? We may see that there is a jump of 20. So, 28s are 160. You may directly find it out. Otherwise, you can keep on adding 20 into the last answer. So, you will get A. Question number 23. Four students each drew a figure. Each student shaded part of the figure to represent a fraction. Which sentence about the figure is true? So, you can see that there are total 8 parts out of which 5 are colored. So, Selena shaded 5 by 8 of her figure. That's quite true. Tara, there are there are two parts but one is colored. So, Tara shaded 1 by 1 of her figure which is wrong. Carson shaded 2 by 4 of his figure which is wrong because there are 6 parts in Carson uh, figure and 2 are colored. So, it should be 2 by 6. And similarly, Eric shaded 5 by 3 of his figure it's obviously wrong because it's not an improper fraction it's a simple proper fraction so that's why we will choose a as our answer because question number 24 mr hamad owns a flower shop at the beginning of the day he had 152 roses mr hamad sold 96 of the roses and then wanted to separate the rest of the roses equally among eight horses what will be the total number of roses in each horse so basically we will first of all we will subtract the number of roses that were sold so 152 minus 96 is equal to 56 now we have to arrange the rest of the roses into eight vases equally so it means we are going to divide 56 on 8 so that is 7 so each vase will have 7 roses in it so a is our answer 
Question number 25, Mr. Jamil built a deck. The deck had an area of 29 square meters. Which figure could represent the deck? So to calculate the area, we will count the number of squares. You can simply use a pencil and put dots on the squares to count it. Otherwise, uh, just uh, apply the rule like in the first row, there are seven squares. So four rows are same. So seven fours are 28. The area of A part is 28, which is not our answer. We need 29. In the B part, we will count the number of squares in the first row. There are 10 squares so 10 three rows are of 10 squares so 30 and 30 plus 8 is equal to 38 so not right in the c part there are nine squares in the first row and two rows are there so 18 is the area which is not correct in the d part we will count the number of squares again so there are seven squares in the first row as there are three rows of seven so seven threes are 21 and then eight squares are extra so 21 plus 8 is equal to 29. So D is our correct option. I hope you liked my video. So don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel. See you soon.